Hello, this is Eitelbock from Webscripto and welcome to a new tutorial in our WooCommerce series. Now today we're going to have a look at setting a fixed product quantity for bulk selling. Sometimes we may find ourselves selling a product that is considerably cheaper than our other products and find that our customers are often put off by the shipping costs of such a product. For example, no person will be happy to purchase a product with a 5 or 50 rand price tag and find out that the shopping cost will be 70 rand. For this reason, it may sometimes be necessary to make the product available in bulk purchases at a discounted price. This way your customer gets a discount, which may prompt him or her to make the purchase. And then secondly, if the delivery cost for a 280 rand purchase is once again 70 rand, the delivery cost will be much less off-putting to the customer. So let's have a look at how to do this and how to set up your products for bulk selling. Great, we are going to have a look at how to implement a system where we can sell, um, for example, 5, 10 or 15 of the same product in a bundle. Um, and we're going to have a look at that on our shop that we are using for WooCommerce training um, on one of our development servers. So I want us to have a look at the specific product under the new in category. You will see these products are just um, simple example products which I've imported from WooCommerce. So these are not real products. These are actually just for the sake of um, having these tutorials. Now, if you look at this first product, Woo Single Number 2, this is a product I would like us to concentrate on because we are going to sell it in bundles of 1, 5, 10 or 15. Um, so, when you look at this product, you'll see the, the purchase price is, or the selling price is 53 Rand. Now, um, you can imagine that the client will not be happy if you have to purchase or want to purchase that product for 53 Rand and then have to pay something between 60 Rand and 140 Rand for shipping. It simply will not cut. Um, so we need to have some way to overcome that problem. And as we've mentioned earlier, we are going to have a look at selling in bulk. Now, in order to do this, we are going to go back to our WordPress um, admin or dashboard area and we are going to upload the specific plugin that will assist us in selling in bulk and that plugin's name is WooCommerce Fixed Quantity. You will note that I've already installed uh, the plugin. I believe that you know how to install a plugin so I'm not going to go through that process. Um, I am just going to click on activate and we are going to set up this plugin for actual use. Okay, the plugin has been activated. Now we need to go to settings to set up the plugin. I've actually already set it up, but we can have a quick look at the settings area. At the top here, this is an indication of what will be shown on the single product page. It is going to show to the customer the quantity of the item or items, the price at which it is going to be sold, and the total. The total will come into play when you are selling more than one of the same product. So we are not going to change anything here. When we go to the actual um, plugin, we will make changes to that and to this and we will see that in a minute. Now the show discount info tab I've selected it. This will show the discount info in both the cart and checkout pages. I think that speaks for itself. If we look at add to cart as a new item, I have ticked that. You can read here when adding a product to a cart twice or more, add it as new instead of updating quantity. The reason why I've selected it is simply if you're going to sell um, five products um, or in, yeah, you're going to sell one product or a quantity of 5 or a quantity of 10. Let's say a person would like to buy 11, so he selects 10 and then select 1 again. It is going to show as two separate um, purchases. 
in order to calculate the discount where it need to be calculated otherwise the discount um, that you want to offer your client may be wrong if it's combined as one purchase now the sh show stock availability tab i've selected that for obvious reasons i would like the clients to see whether this product is available in the store or not um, check stock availability before purchase checkout um, this has not been implemented yet so i've not checked that out the default role we can leave that as it is to customer because it is the customer that is going to make a selection as to which product or the, the quantity that he or she would like to purchase so i'm going to save changes although i haven't made any changes just for the sake of um, clarity i'm going to save that now that it has been saved we can go to the front page right we are back on the front page the reason we are back on the front page is simply to have a look at what the single product page will look like in other words what your client will see if he clicks on woo single number two um, if he or she may be interested in it before we um, make any changes to this product via the plugin that we have installed a minute ago so let's have a look at um, the normal interface that we will be greeted with once we click on a product we will see that the product price is 53 as we have uh, mentioned earlier and you can select the quantity one two three four five whatever you would like to or the client would like to select so this is the normal layout um, we are going to effect the changes in the plugin and then we're going to come back to this single product um, page and see what it looks like right um, we are going to go back um, to the dashboard and i would like us to go to the um, product tab click on all products this will enable us to go to the product where we would like to effect the changes now you will recall that the product name was Wu single number two um, so we need to edit Wu single number two just a quick tip we are going to use edit and not quick edit because the functions that we are looking for is not available or are not available under quick edit so let's click on edit in order for us to edit the prices it is taking a minute but there it has opened as you will recall um, and know how to add prices we have added 53 initially as the price so it's 53 rand what is new is that under the product data you will find a new tab titled fixed quantity price now this is the plugin that we have just installed and activated and we are going to click on um, that tab we are presented now with an opportunity to add price ranges let's click on add price on the add price button in order to set up our first quantity you will see the quantity here um, this is how it will be displayed on your single product page quantity is going to be the one that we enter here so we are going to say it's going to be our first choice is one product because now that quantity will be replaced with the one the figure one now one because it's going to be one item we need to say item and not items and i am going to delete that is now the price as you will recall is 53 rand per quantity so 53 rand that will be for the price for one product price per quantity price per one is 53 rand so let's add another field um, we are going to make for, for this example a quantity of five in other words the client will have the ability to select five products and have a price based on those five products um, we are going to have a discount but we are not going to add it in here we are going to allow the plugin to calculate it for us what we are going to do however let's say for example we have decided to if a person purchase five we will only the asking price will only be 50 rand instead of 53 so let's 
enter the price of 50 Rand in there. Now it shows us that uh, there will be a quantity of 5 and the quantity price is 5 or 50 Rand per item and the discount it's 5.66%. Um, so we can now update um, the product page we can go to the front page and once the product page has been updated we are going to refresh the shop front page let's do that quickly and then we will have a look at the product now you will recall what it looked like previously if we now enter the product and have a look at it you will immediately immediately see the difference we have a choice here the one item at 53 rand and the overall cost is 53 rand we can select five items at 50 rand per item and the cost will be 250 rand if i select this 250 rand five items and i add it to the card we open the card the products will be shown there as five items um, and it will be shown as 250 rand as was intended and it will also indicate to the customer that a 5.66 percent discount has been included now i'm not going to calculate the shipping as it has not been activated on this training website um, this is not a live website so um, I, I, I did not want to um, enter shipping classes or fields there so that is the simple, easy, quick way to set up different packages. Um, instead of five items, you could have set it up 10 items as well. Um, it will be the same process which we have followed at the back end here, where we have indicated five products. You could make it 20 if that is the quantity that you would like to see in a package. So that is a quick way of dealing with that. I'm happy that you've been with us and I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, take care.